All right, this is the video segment for chapter 17. The title of that chapter is Analysis of Facet Assembly. Uh, it's a very simple problem where two plates, as shown here, are, are uh, uh, bolted together with a, with, with a bolt. And uh, later on, of course, the left uh, sides of uh, these two rectangular pieces or block pieces or clamp and then a downward force is applied to the right side, okay? Now, uh, here I'm going to create a, a bolt, okay? And uh, the bolt is gonna be created, but later on in a later video, you see that uh, one can also use a virtual bolt where bolt is not actually created. All right, so let's, uh, the dimensions, although, although some, something is given in the book, but uh, I will not necessarily stick to all of those values, but I'll be close to those. To those. So, uh, let's start with the product file. So, file, new product. And insert the bottom plate. Insert new, uh, new, new part in there. And I'm going to call it uh, uh, properties uh, bottom plate. By the way, I'm not using symmetry at all. Uh, so bottom plate. Anything here? Bottom plate. Okay. And uh, let's make. So to be in line more or less with those dimensions that are given in the book, so on the, on the XY plane, let's switch to part design. On the XY plane, I will sketch. Uh, okay, how about uh, something like that? Two inches this way, two inches that way. And uh, one inch this way. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a circle. We need a hole here. I'm going to draw a circle here. The dimension of that circle, the radius of it is 0.125, and the distance from this point to that line is. 0.5. So this is the bottom plate. Exit and then pad it. Let me make this thing 0.2. See how it looks like. Um, how about point, uh, point 0.15? Now this looks more or less like the size that I have in the book, okay? Very close to it, I suspect. Okay. Uh, actually, let's make this in point, point one. How about that, point one? Good. So now we're gonna insert the top plate. So insert, new part in there, and I'm gonna call it the top plate. Properties, top plate and top plate. Okay, let's make it. On a convenient plane, say on this plane, I will sketch. Why do not project that circle? There we are. And then uh, we draw the rest of the rectangle here. So uh, let me see, a rectangle, and then I can I can fix it. So uh, so this line, this line, control that line, make it coincident. Uh, this line, control that line. We also make it coincident. And this, this, control that, coincident, 
Okay, so uh, what about the size of, uh, well, let's see now, uh, well, there we go, how about something like that. Okay, exit. And then we're going to pad it by point 0.1. Okay, this is the top plate. Very good. Now we're going to make the bolt. So uh, insert, insert, new part, in there, no, we're going to call it the bolt. Properties, bolt, and bolt. Convenient plane on this plane. Well, actually, let's uh, uh, let's get in there. Okay, on this plane, I'm going to sketch. Why don't I project that circle? All right. So uh, then I will draw another circle. So we're going to be for the bolt head now. Exit. Okay, so uh, why don't we do a multi path here? So uh, multi path on this sketch. Uh, this is the small circle. So uh, how about making that thing point uh, point one point one point. Uh, 3.3 and this one how about making the bolt head point uh, maybe point uh, one, point one five okay so the bolt that's uh, uh, too fat so uh, let me go to multiple so let's make this thing uh, point five. Okay, good. So this is going to be the. I, 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 this is an assembly. So first of all, I'm going to make everything out of steel. Make everything out of steel. So metal. Uh, everything out of steel. There, and then we're going to we're going to assemble this thing. Uh, let me see now. Uh, let me move this thing uh, apart. Where is the move? Right there, in the Z direction. Transit in the Z direction. I will not put any assembly constraints here, although it's a bad idea. The other thing that I don't like is that. Uh, ah, sorry. So. Between this axis and that axis, and coincidence with this face and that face. Update, and uh, let's flip the flip the arrows. Update. There. Here is the rest of the bolt. Okay. Good. All right. Now. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead to the generative structure analysis. Katia will mesh all three parts. Okay, so uh, uh, if you look at uh, the mesh, it's going to look like this. Right there. In fact, we can change the color so that it's easier to detect these things. So uh, this, is, uh, this is for the bottom plate. So we're going to change that thing to uh, yellow. Uh, this one is for the bolt properties. And I'm going to change that thing to uh, perhaps orange. Okay, good. All right, let's deactivate the mesh. Uh, clamp this left side. This and that. 
and we apply a force down here. Now let's say we apply a force on this face, a downward force of, uh, uh, let's put some inches, uh, in terms of inches, so uh, uh, how about 50 pounds, 50 pounds LBF. Okay, good, uh, negative direction. Okay, now, first of all, these two, this top plate and the bottom plate, we have to create a connection between them, which is, uh, I'm going to call it top and bottom plate, top, bottom plate, and this is going to be contact, they, can, they cannot penetrate each other. First component is this, second component, I'm going to hide that, and I'm going to select the bottom of that. This is eventually is going to be contact. Good, good, good. Now let's do one between the bolt head and the top plate, okay? So another connection, I'll say bolt head, bolt head, top plate. And this is also going to be contact. So uh, for the first component, the top plate, surface of top plate, for the second component, I'm going to hide this and select the there. Then we have to do a contact between the shanks, uh, the shank of this and the top plate, and the shank of this and the bottom plate. Another one. So I'm going to make it uh, a shank, bolt shank, bolt shank, top plate. So there is a bolt shank. For the second component, uh, let's bring this thing in. Well, actually, it's right here. This surface, okay? All right. And finally, uh, another connection, connection between, uh, call this thing uh, bolt shank, bolt shank, bottom plate. I'm doing a little bit, this thing a little bit differently from how it's done in the book, but that's okay. You can handle that. And that's going to be this hole. All right, let's bring these all of these in the front. So these connections, the first three, are all the uh, are all the uh, contact. Now, how do we specify the bolt preload? So uh, if you look at uh, well, first of all, let me let me do the following. A connection between uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hide that and I'm going to select the shank. So I'm going to select preload connection. Uh, the shank of the bolt and the bottom face, the bottom face of this. Uh, uh, or the face of the bottom plate. So I'm going to hide this, that, and say OK. All right, let's bring everything in the front and uh, apply the type of connection that we want. OK, there, these are all the connections that we made. The first four are contact, the last one is uh, the uh, Preload. So let's see now. Where is the contact? This is a face-to-face -face connection. Contact is the second one. So this is contact. Next one is contact. The next one is contact. 
And the third one, which I missed, is also contact. Oh, wait a minute. Which one did I do? Let me just make sure that I didn't screw up here. Uh, no, fasten. Delete, delete these guys, delete. Delete these. Somehow I screwed up, I uh, should have taken uh, fast, uh, contact, contact. That one. And that one. And these are all contact connection. The last one is the preload. If you look at these, look at these face-to-face -face connections. We have already used the contact. We have already used fasten. If you scroll down, you see something called uh, the very last on bolt tightening connection. You click on it, and you select the very last connection that I created here in the tree, and you put the bolt force. So right now, I have no idea. You, you really have to have some uh, uh, some feeling for what this thing is. And uh, for now, I'm going to put, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, also 30 pounds, LBF. Now, the other thing is that this direction is also important. See, the way it should be, just look at the way the, the, the bolt is drawn. See that? This should be flipped. So uh, you go to opposite. Now the, the, the fastener sign is in the right direction. Okay. When you have virtual bolt you want a tutorial, this is not important. Okay. All right. That's pretty much it. So uh, we're going to run this. We're going to run this and see what happens. As a matter of fact, let me, this load that I put there, let me delete it. I'm going to put it back on, but for now, I'm going to delete it. So this force, I'm going to delete it to show you that actually we still have stresses because of this preload condition. We run it, although there's no load on the structure, but there will be a load because of the, the bolt. Okay, so let's see now. Stress, you can see. Change the rendering. There is no load on the structure, but there is a preload in the bolt. Okay, good. So let's deactivate this. And now we apply force on this edge, on this face. So uh, apply force, the one that I deleted, on this face of 20, it was. I think it was 50 pounds which converts into that in Newtons, and then we're going to run it. And now you look at the deformation and you scale it uh, to default scale. There, you see? What's holding these two plates together is that bolt and the preload condition. In a, a tutorial, another tutorial that I post, uh, posted on Blackboard, uh, the bolt is not modeled. The preload is with a virtual bolt. And uh, uh, for example, if you have a hundred bolts and you don't want to model the bolt because it's going to take a lot of elements, you can use the pre preload. So uh, that's pretty much it. So let me let me save this thing file, save management. Uh, the analysis has to be saved right there. Save as desktop uh, assembly, so fasten assembly. Everything is going to go there. I did not use symmetry, and I don't advise using symmetry for bolts unless you absolutely.